Okay, so I want to tell a little story about this thing that happened one time when I was in summer camp at Round Lake Camp. Where else? So it's summer 1999, and those of you who heard my uh, story, S-O-U-T, about Lori, uh, you know about this kid named Daniel Diamond. He was just like a total dork, a tool, you know, just a goofy-ass dork and a tool, and like somebody you always like made fun of, whatever. (laughs) And uh, when Lori was dating him, it pissed me off, I'm like, Yo, this fucking fag got her and I didn't? Like, what does he have that I don't? Are you kidding me? Ugh, Daniel Diamond. He's a nice kid, but he's just a goofy fucking idiot, right? Who always managed to make a fool out of himself. As you, some of you may know. And uh, he wasn't really like a tough kid, although I think sometimes he tried to project that, but he was a pussy. (laughs) Oh, you'll see that. Don't worry. We'll see how much of a pussy this guy was. So, uh, anyways, it's one day, I'm in my bunk at camp, and I decide to go take a shower. So I'm in the shower for like, I don't know, four or five minutes. And as I'm showering, all of a sudden, I see a hand reach over the top of the shower, and then something, the hand like throws something at me, and then something like hits my eyes. And seconds later, I'm, like, practically screaming, right? I felt like someone threw, like, gasoline and fire in my eyes. And I'm just like, ah, ah. Thank God I was in the shower, and I was able to, like, wash it out. But still, that shit burned. Oh, ah, my fucking eyes. Ah. And, like, people were coming, running in the bathroom, like, yo, bro, what, what the fuck? What's wrong? What happened? Like, yo, someone threw something in my eyes, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? And then someone who saw him do it was like, yo, that was fucking Daniel. Daniel. Like, are you kidding me? Are you fucking, what? Yo, bro, he threw gold bond powder in your eyes. You know what gold bond is, right? That shit you rub on your balls. You get like jock itch and shit. And like, even when you rub that on your nuts, it burns. I've seen guys use it, look at their balls, but I've been around guys that use it. And they're like, dude, this shit burns my nuts. Oh, I can't, it's like you can't imagine that in your eyes. Well, imagine it. Holy shit. Like, God, that burned. I thought I was going to go blind for a few minutes. But again, thank God I was able to wash it out. And with my eyes still like burning, I'm like, where the fuck is Daniel? I don't know. Fucking kill that kid. And and uh, West Boys, you heard my Lori story. He's like, bro, you ain't get you shit, bro. You ain't get you shack shit. You're a wuss. I'm like, oh, really? And like, yeah, compared to West, West would just beat my ass with his eyes closed. He kind of did at least once for another day. But uh, I'm like, yeah, well, Daniel ain't you. <laughs> Watch this. So, this guy was such a pussy, he went and hid from me, right? I weighed about 105 pounds at the time. This guy must have weighed like 170 or 180. He was like twice my size. And he's hiding in a bathroom stall. And I'm like looking for him. And then I realize he's hiding in there. And these are like really small bathroom stalls. I mean, where like the door opens up and kind of like hits you in the knees when you're on the toilet. If it open, not much room. And I start kicking in the fucking the stall door on him, right? And I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. And this motherfucker starts like crying, right? Basically, ah, please stop scaring the shit out of me. What the fuck? Like I said. This guy's got like 70 pounds on me, and he's like six inches taller. He was like over six feet tall, at least. And he's crying like a little girl begging me to stop, and I wasn't even hitting him. I was just kicking in the door, and he was scared shitless. And Wes and everybody is standing there open mouth. They all thought I was a pussy, like Wes said, and I wasn't going to do shit. And yeah, well, I definitely did. 
And I basically forced him to apologize to me, shake my hand. And, um, yeah, yeah, he really fucking did that shit. That had to be one of the more fucked up, pointless things anyone's ever did to me. I don't know what possessed him to do that. But, yeah, he really threw a handful of gold bond into my eyes. And, and, you know, it's funny. Not really funny, but... Ha-ha, funny, but... Uh, about a year later, not even, I started wearing glasses full-time at age 16. I was 15 when this happened. Within a year or less, my eyesight was bad enough. I never again went without glasses, driving or anything else. And I always wonder to this day, if that might have happened anyways, because I'd been, I had my first pair of glasses at 14, and I was already heading towards it. Like full time glasses, but I always wonder if that fucked up my eyes somehow and accelerated it. I, I guess I'll never know, but uh, yeah, so uh, that was my little story about the time that I was in my bunk at summer camp at Round Lake taking a shower, and this fucking faggot Daniel Diamond thought it would be funny to thrust a handful of gold bond powder right in my eyes, and I Basically kicked the living shit out of him. And he got so scared he pretty much pissed himself and cried like a girl. And uh, hopefully he never fuck with anybody ever again. Like that. And that piece of shit learned his lesson. What a time. What a fucking time.